Hey everyone, it's your girl Nina Room. And I know I need to weigh myself for this video, but I gotta get another scale. And I know you got I told you guys I was gonna try to get the camcorder, the recorder, the camera and stuff like that, but yeah, it didn't work out like that. So alright, well, I'll be back shortly to show you the body. Peace. Hey everyone, it's your girl Nina Room and um I'm coming to you before I take my walk. Um, I'm about to walk the kids to school and come back and, you know, do something to my hair. I wanted you guys to know that I don't know if I'm going to film me on the scale, but I will be weighing myself today so you guys will be able to see it. Um, so, duh, I'm going to be filming myself. But... For those who follow me when it comes to my hair, I'm going to be washing my hair today and um, condition it. Probably do a hot oil treatment because it's been cold outside and my hair needs some love. It desperately needs some love. So, and I'm starting a skin journey that I'm working on because I, um, I was having so many blemishes all over my face and stuff. So I started using like deep cleansing my skin and Jazz, Jazz, come and get your lotion. Put your lotion back in your bag. So, um, started using coconut, well I already used coconut oil on my hair. But I started using coconut oil on, on my face. Like, what I do is I soak my face up. And I'm very generous on my skin with this. And, like, what I'm about to do now. Like, I'm about to wash my face. Soak up my face with the coconut oil. And then walk the kids to school. So, I'm going to take you all on a walk with me. So, yeah. So, I'll be back. Oh, and I did not get my, I did not get my, um, what's that? I did not get my, um, camera yet. I am, camera yet. I am planning on getting my camera. I'm planning on getting my camera, so I don't have to keep doing this by phone. But what I did was I just now put on the um, airplane mode. So I don't have to worry about this video being interrupted. So, yeah, I will see you guys in a few. So, real quickly, you guys. Um, I wanted to show you something because I don't know if it's in my head. But I really do see the um, tightening of my stomach. Like... I see, I, I see a change. I just want to get rid of this stuff right here. Like, I want to, this is just like, this needs to be tightened. So, that's it. I'm like looking right before I jump inside the shower. And I'm like, I really do see a difference in this. So, all right, you guys, I'll be back. So, um, I'm about to start my walk. So, but right before I start my walk, as I told you guys, I like to um, cleanse my face, which I already did, but it's dry, so I want to re-wet it. I got a pimple right there, I don't know if you guys can see it, but yeah, so I want to wet up my face, and instead of using the... Instead of using this one, because I done dug the heck out of this for my hair, I'm going to use this I just opened up not that long ago. And I'm going to, this is what I'm going to do before I get out on my walk. I want to liquefy it. I don't know why this feels like this. 
You know what? I'm going to use the other one because I don't like the way that one feels. I don't like the way that one feels. So, let me get this off my hands. Yeah, it got clumps in that. Like, did I have a towel in here? Let me get another towel in here. It's my hand towel. And this is only my bathroom, so it doesn't matter. I got makeup everywhere. I've been doing that a lot lately, too. There you go. This one is better. So I'll we'll take that much. I'll take my ring off. Take it. This is what I'm gonna do right before my walk. So I know when I walk, people who pass me by are probably be like, "Dad, she's so shiny," but it's okay because it's not about what people think; it's about what I think. So. Okay, I got my face. Like, oh, uh, I don't know if you can see that. And what I'm gonna do is instead of rubbing it in, I'm just gonna let it soak through. So, you know what? I'm not gonna waste that, but in my hair. I love coconut oil. And okay, so all right, I'm about to get out and start my walk. I see y'all in a few minutes. Hey, you guys, you know where y'all, my thing was, um, I think went off. Good morning, y'all. Um, I'm a, this is the second video. Sorry, I do not have um, my camera yet. So I'll be able to, no, baby, get on this, get next to your sister. I do not have my camera yet. So I am unable to um, combine these. I'm going to try to combine the videos. If not, y'all have a part one, part two, like y'all did last time. Let's say good morning, y'all. Good morning. Good morning. So, and here goes some right now coming down the street. Hey, my family. Look at y'all. I'm so proud. Y'all up, ready for this walk on this beautiful, kind of chilly day. Beautiful and foggy day, actually. Huh? <laughs> beautiful and foggy day because it's kind of fun. Say it again. Beautiful foggy day. It's kind of foggy. Yeah, it is kind of foggy. Don't you want your hood on? You all right? Yeah. It, it's okay. Getting on my eyes, so I took it off. Say good morning. Say it again. Good morning. I'm not showing you, Tisha. Say good morning, Chase. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, is this? I wait. We wait. I'm holding it. Then you want Jazz to walk with y'all then? Oh, that makes sense, right? Yeah. So, me and Jaden might as well just continue this way then. See y'all when I get back to the house. Come on. No, not you. <laughs> Look, I got the wrong child. No, here, you go with them. She going to walk y'all. And I'm going to walk um, Jalen, okay? Say goodbye to your sister. So see you later. See you later, Juju. Say have a good day. Did you, did you bring your gloves? You want one more? No. You want your gloves on? No. Okay. Come on. So we're gonna we we're supposed to be walking them all together, but hey Key, Keisha, I locked the top lock. Yeah. Keisha, I locked the top lock. Yeah. I locked the top lock. I mean, it's that pregnancy itis kind of thing. Good morning. Hello. I'm real happy in the morning sometimes. Sometimes I'm not, but today, when it's a good day like this, I am. Hold this like this, Jay. Hold on the sides. Do not stop the camera. So, I gotta zip up my jacket because I don't want to get sick. And like in the first video, I told you guys that I washed my face and soaked it up. 
with the water and um, coconut oil. Get closer to the side for me, baby. Thank you. So yeah, um, so now I'm just walking. I told y'all guys I'm staying motivated. I'm gonna stay honest and I'm feeling good. I'm feeling more energy, energized in the morning. Get on the sidewalk baby, with no weight because the sidewalk ends right there. After we pass this um, tree, get on the sidewalk, okay? So, yeah, um, I don't have my thing today. I got my clean today. So, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna stay on this journey. I'm gonna stay on this journey, especially if, you know, by the way, it's making me feel. Okay, baby, get on the sidewalk now. I'm on the sidewalk. So, yeah, so the way it has me feeling, and before I started this journey, I don't know if I told you guys in the first video, but before I started this journey, only thing I wanted to do is just lay on the couch, sit on the couch, body into this routine of walking. I'm actually feeling good. Come on, baby. I'm actually feeling good. I'm in, um, and don't think that because I didn't come on the weekend that I wasn't walking. Because I was walking. I just wasn't walking them to school. I was walking around these Ave. The town I live at, we live on avenues. Like, um, like Spalding Avenue. Um, yeah, all these streets are carved by avenues. So, so yeah. Um, so I was just walking around the avenues. Why it look like it's raining? See little drips come down, but it's not raining. That's weird. So, yeah, it's frost on the ground though. You see. And at first the kids thought I was gonna drive again, but no, I'm like serious about this. They bundled up. I'm somewhat bundled up. My, I should have wore some um, gloves on my hands, so mittens or something. Come on, baby. Some mittens. Walk up this hill. Walking up a hill. That's why I go this way. The other way, for some reason, it's not really no hill. Jaden, you really stopping in front of me, though, baby? But um, this way is a hill, and it's making my body, like, work. Work work for every step so yeah and on the other video I'm showing you my my stomach because I don't know if it's me but I really feel like I'm tightening up and my stomach even with my pants and I put on my pants and my shorts I'm noticing I got more wiggle room so when um my first one i was about to get in the shower got in the shower got dressed so y'all seeing that beginning part so i'm really trying to get this camera situated i did get a camera but i don't it's too complicated and it's not even expensive to be complicated like that so i'm just gonna take it back get my money back and find something that i could really really um use because on that camera I don't even see no record button yes that's how ghetto and cheap it is but the lady was like you know a lot of people pick that camera it's a nice conv convenient camera for you just to do videos on and stuff like that so I'm like that's what I'm looking for so I got it got the memory card and all that other stuff and don't know how to work it so, come on, baby, cross the street. Run across the street. Run across the street. Ooh, my hands are cold. So, I should have worn my gloves. But, um, so yeah, so I got the memory card and stuff like that. And even though I got the memory card, 
even though I got the memory card, um, I can't, like, it's saying error with the memory card. So, I'm like, okay. I can't see the directions. I'm going to be honest. Like, I need to go get my eyes checked, even though we already know that my eyes ain't that good. But cataract runs in my family. And when I went to get my eyes checked, they seen, um something in my left eye which I'm thinking is cataract but anyway I'm not trying to claim it come on baby walk up we've been walking for nine minutes now so and your school's not that far I mean far enough but it's saying error with the memory card so I'm like okay I can't see the directions I'm gonna be honest like I need to go get my eyes checked even though we already know that my eyes ain't that good but cataract runs in my family and when I went to get my eyes checked they seen um, something in my left eye which I'm thinking is cataract but anyway I'm not trying to claim it come on baby walk up We've been walking for nine minutes now, so and your school's not that far. I mean, far enough, but it's not that far. But anyway, so yeah, um, back to my stomach. In the other video, I'm showing you my stomach because, like, I really do feel like something is happening. Even if I'm not seeing a weight loss, you know, per se, but as long as I'm seeing tightening in my stomach and I'm getting I'm having more energy and I feel like my legs are getting stronger I'm good I'm good even without seeing a weight loss I'm good as long as I can can um, you know build up my leg strength but I mean weight loss will come eventually but the most important thing for me is tightening and you know being able to move my legs Jay come on keep walking please he's walking real slow you know you don't want to go to school you do okay because you're walking like behind me I don't want you to walk behind me I need you to walk like beside me or ahead of me I gotta keep my eyes on you, okay? So, oh, you guys, I'll be back on. It's gonna be a third video, because I'm not holding this. Okay, like I said, this is gonna be three videos. I'm now walking back, um, taking him to school. Um, I had to, like, warm my hands up for a little while because it is. I'm not chilly nowhere else but on my hands, but I think it's because I walk with a cane and my hand is exposed, you know, so they can't be in my pocket. And this one is not in my pocket because I'm holding a phone. So, yeah, I just want to um, let everybody that's out there that's wanting to walk but really can't get the, um, I don't know, the, um, the motivation or feel like, you know, you may say it one day, but then the day that you actually supposed to walk, you decide that I'm too tired, too lazy to walk or whatever. I'm telling you guys that once you start walking, yeah, the first day might get to you and you might be like, I might not, um... I might not, I mean, the first day I might get to you and then you say, I'm not walking the next day or whatever because I can't do this or whatever. Trust me, once you start after the first day, after the second day, after the second day, you're going to be good. You're going to want to walk because even though it's chilly out here, I mean, I already got into school, but even if I had to start right now from being chilly the way I am, I still would have taken this walk because I'm, I got my eyes on the prize. 
enterprises like i said for me not to use this cane no more for me to um strengthen my legs for me to tone my stomach for me to be at my ideal weight and um this is the weight and um this is not just a journey for me this is like a new lifestyle for me because not only am i walking and and doing more exercises um using the using the um i forget what that machine is but it's working with my legs or whatever even though that i'm doing that i'm also I'm also um eating better. Like I'm eating a lot better. So and I like it. It's not and it's crazy because I kept saying, Oh, I'm not ready to do without this. I'm not gonna be able to do without that. I need my potatoes all the time. And not that I'm giving up the potatoes because I still eat the mashed potatoes and potato salad and stuff like that it's just i'm not eating a lot of it you know what i mean so i'm eating a portion size of it instead of overeating because that was my problem like i start eating something that i really love and i get seconds i get thirds or whatever the case may be now um i'm eating just a portion size and i'm good so trying to stay away from too much bread which I'm working hard at because bread is my downfall I love bread but like I said I'm not gonna just go cold turkey because when people do that that's when it's difficult but if you keep cutting back and cutting back and cutting back it's gonna get to a point that you're gonna be like I don't even want that you know what I mean so, and that's what I'm doing. And there's certain things now that I was like, I have to have a lot of. And I'm a, I'm a cheeseaholic. So I have to have cheese, like cooking and and doing more exercises. Um, using the, using the, um, I forget what that machine is, but it's working with my legs or whatever. Even though that. I'm doing that. I'm also I'm also um eating better. Like I'm eating a lot better. So and I like it. It's not and it's crazy because I kept saying, Oh, I'm not ready to do without this. I'm not gonna be able to do without that. I need my potatoes all the time and not that I'm giving up the potatoes because I still eat the mashed potatoes and potato salad and stuff like that it's just I'm not eating a lot of it you know what I mean so I'm eating a portion size of it instead of overeating because that was my problem like I start eating something that I really love and I get seconds, I get thirds, or whatever the case may be. Now, um, I'm eating just a portion size and I'm good. So, trying to stay away from too much bread, which I'm working hard at because bread is my downfall. I love bread. But, like I said, I'm not going to just go cold turkey because when people do that, that's when it's difficult but if you keep cutting back and cutting back and cutting back it's going to get to a point that you're going to be like i don't even want that you know what i mean so and that's what i'm doing and there's certain things now that i was like i have to have a lot of and i'm a i'm a cheeseaholic so i have to have cheese like crazy like i can't eat anything without cheese Wow, my hands are so cold. My fingers are cold. I've been doing my vlog. So, y'all want to see my little baby? I'm not going to show you, Keisha. You're hot? 
My fingers is freezing. Look at my baby, y'all. My grandbaby. I'm just so hot. You had a nice walk? Say hi. <laughs> Come on. So, yeah. We met up at the same time. That's crazy. And I stopped like three times. You heard me? I stopped like three times. Look at my car, y'all. I don't know if y'all see that. Look at my car. But, yeah. Oh my God. I'm so happy to see my house. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy to see my house. I need to get these steps done though. Ooh, my fingers are freezing. Like I said, the only thing I would do different Wow. I got my I got my phone on airplane mode so my videos won't be messed up. Oh. No hope. No. No, wait. Okay. All right, you guys. I am home Woo, my fingers are frozen so like i said this is a three-parter video sorry about that but i will show you guys the camera that i bought but since i'm taking it back it's not no point so all right you guys i'll talk to you in my next video peace so you guys right i'm in my um my little room that i'm trying to get together I have to, um, this is a TV from the living room because my husband got me a bigger TV and a flat screen. So it's inside the living room. He got himself a flat screen, a smart TV. So, um, I'm actually inside the room, but y'all, y'all gotta check out my child. She is nine months pregnant and she is wearing this jacket that is screaming, help, someone help. You should see her. Now I'm gonna show you, but I'm gonna act like I'm not videotaping again. So, shh. So yeah, you ready, Chase? Okay, so I'm not gonna watch this, y'all. Look at her jacket. Look at her jacket. Don't her jacket look like a half shirt? Look. Yeah, so hard. We ready to go? You know this her belly. You know this her belly is sticking straight out, right? But this shirt. Wow. And then you wanna try whisper. Wow. What? I'm not doing anything. I have drops and blood, but I'm, I'm not doing anything. I ain't flush. Look. I pick up there. So this is her jacket, you guys. Check this out. This is her jacket. <laughs> the jacket's supposed to come right here, y'all. <laughs> it's like a half shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> so, mommy, you said pull your jacket down, mommy. Uh, said pull your jacket down, mommy. Uh, uh, he upset because he want his phone, but yeah. Y'all. I'm going to have to. I'm a, look, she pulled her shirt down, but look. Look, look at the jacket, y'all. Look at the jacket. That's how you can't see it. You could have recorded it the right way. Look at the jacket, y'all. Look at the jacket. Whatever. Look at her. She's got to tug it. Try to pull it down further. <laughs> Baby, it's not going no further down. <laughs> you told me stop. Said pull your jacket down, mommy. Pull your jacket down, mommy. Good morning, everyone. I know I'm looking like super crazy. I just got up and about to eat some cereal. I need bunches of oats. Um, I buy the box milk because I buy a lot of it and of course it lasts. So I'm about to eat me a bowl of cereal before I um, get myself together to walk these kids to school and I'll bring y'all on my walk. So, see you in a few. Okay y'all, so I'm starting my walk right now and just walking the two right now. So, say good morning. Good morning. 
So today is, what's today? Um, let's say the 5th. Like Tuesday the 5th. Tuesday the 5th. Come on. Keep walking though. Tuesday the 5th. Normally I'm at the house a little bit earlier than what I am when we're walking. But I was trying to wait for, um, Cause normally I walk three, so I was waiting for the other child to get finished eating. But I don't know what I'm saying. The two I'm walking right now is one my niece and one my nephew. Another one I'm waiting for was my grandson, but my daughter's gonna walk in the school. So I'm like already getting tongue tied. But come on, y'all. Come on, we gotta walk up there, okay? So, but it is really, really beautiful out. And yesterday I was complaining about my nails, not my nails, my um, hair being cool. Yeah, run across the street. I was complaining about my hands being cool. But it's so nice out here, like really nice. My hair looking funny as heck. I don't care. Um, I'm a, I have to do, uh today a acv rinse on my head my head for those of you that don't know what acv rinse is is a um apple cider vinegar rinse and that's when you use um i measure mine out i take um bacon powder and bacon powder and why am i getting tough tied and um apple cider vinegar and uh probably like a tablespoon here in it and this way it kind of, it like breaks up all the all the um product that you put in your hair throughout the week the month however you do it how many times you do it but i don't do mine too often so i'm gonna do that and then i'm going to you know what? Did I say that backwards? I did. Because I also wanted to do a hot oil treatment on my hair. Because since it's been cold, my hair been feeling kind of like it's in need of some love. So, I'm going to do that today. Um, I have intentions on not just walking them to school, but I wanted to walk the abs today. So, that's what I'm going to do today because it's so nice out. And I'm just going to walk the abs like all these blocks today and get my little work workout on um yesterday i had put on this belt and it was crazy because i never not belt I told you i'm getting tongue tied did you look both ways only seen you look one way did you see that he only looked that way so i'm a uh, Okay, so I put on my pants, and when I put on my pants, I noticed I needed a belt, and I never needed a belt with them pants, but, and it was just sagging. My pants were just sagging, so I was like, yeah, yeah, my waistline is like slimming down some, y'all. Jaden, catch up. Catch up to your sister, baby. Jazz, what do you want to tell me? I can't hear you. Okay. Okay. That's good because you got to watch out. Okay. Okay. So, um, 
I was about to say. Yeah, I'm just like, I'm gonna walk the abs today. I seen a change in my pants, and I like that my waist is slimming down. I don't, I think it's mostly because I'm starting to get into the habit of sucking my stomach in and keeping it tucked in like I'm doing now every time I go for a walk and stuff. And it's kind of training my stomach to tighten up. And like I said, the walking, the abs and stuff is really good because that is doing wonders with my legs. And like at first, anywho, at first I was um, complaining about my legs because my legs had to be adjusted to walking. But yeah, I'm loving this. I'm loving walking. I'm loving talking to you guys. I'm loving letting you know that I'm so serious about this and I'm doing this. I'm really doing this. Come on, y'all. Run to the corner. Okay. So, yeah, I'm loving this. So, normally I just walk. Um, I haven't walked the rest of the way by herself yet. I'm going to, we're going to walk you all the way. Okay. If you was with Chance, then I would, see, normally if she's walking with my grandson, I just let them cross the street. Come on, y'all. Run to the stop sign. Run to the stop sign. So, um, normally I would stop. Let me get my butt out the street. Normally I would stop at the stop sign and let them walk the rest of the way, but uh -uh. Not today since my grandson is still at the house and she's walking by herself so I'm going to walk all the way. That looks like my daughter's car. Is it? No. Come on, you slow me down in front of me. You almost made me fall. Jazz, that's not real money, is it? It's Okay, I'm just making sure because I don't want you to forget it's there and somebody take your money. Wait a second. We got to stop right here. We got to stop right here. Thank you. Come on. Run across the street. Come on, Jaden. Come on. Run across the street. Thank you. So, like I said, I normally just walk her right there. But since she's walking by herself, I'm going to walk her all the way down. I'm going to walk her to the thing. I'm going to walk you to the crossing guard. Can you walk by yourself after that? Because then she at the school. The only thing she got to do is just walk down. Because I would not leave her just to walk by herself. But, yeah. Come on, y'all. Run, run down some. Only thing I don't like about walking them is I walk with the cane, so it's not like I could walk them so fast. But when I'm catching up to them, okay, you guys, I'm walking back from taking her to school and then taking him to school. I got a little heated. I was kind of hot, not heated like mad, but heated like it's hot out here. So I take my jacket off and. I'm still warm. Like, I don't know what I was thinking. I was going to bring some gloves. Ain't that some shit? But it is beautiful out here. And I still got like a little running around to do before I do my hair. Because once I do my hair, I'm going to be in the house. So, yeah. Good morning. So, um, like, look at this house, y'all. I don't know if you can see it. And hopefully you're seeing this. This is so cute. There's another house that's on the other side. Yeah, I wish I would have showed you that one too. But they always got something in their yard. Only thing I see, like, I mean, it's beautiful, don't get me wrong. But when I see stuff like that, I'll be like, damn, they bill is going to be high. So, I don't do all that for Christmas. 
normally I put up a tree and maybe um, lights around my windows inside but all the other stuff that people be doing I don't normally be doing and this year I ain't even put up a tree so I ain't put up no tree for the kids they get an envelope with cash in it a card and cash um yeah so yeah I'm not really doing anything and then today is like trash day around my neighborhood and it's so crazy because like I'm always seeing something that I know somebody could use it's so crazy like I don't understand why people don't take this stuff to like we're not goodwill because goodwill will take your stuff that you donated to them and sell them sometimes like sometimes you get a good price for it but sometimes I mean you see a good price for your items but then sometimes you'll see the same items that you donated and they want a lot of money for it and it's like the reason why I donated it is because I wanted to give it to someone else that was in need and somebody that could possibly use it and not pay a lot of money for it so that's why I, normally I prefer and if I see anything that someone could use on the street, I prefer to give it to like people that live on the street. Not live on the street, but like less fortunate. But the people on the street, we do try to do something. We haven't done anything in a while. But me and my daughter, we try to like feed them and stuff like that because I don't understand how America is supposed to have so much money, but we got so many homeless people. And we have so many people. Ooh, that dog scared the shit out of me. Oh, calm down. I was not expecting that. Calm down. Damn. That same dog, like, when it's not behind the fence, just run up to you. But, yeah, kind of took me by surprise. Just when, it, especially when I'm so deep in thought. So anyway, and it's so funny because my dog did the same thing. Like people will come up and she all big and bad behind the gate. But as soon as she's not behind the gate, she's like trying to be kissing all over everybody. Anyway, I digress. Um, so like I feel like I um, don't understand how nobody's living in them and it's like they just sitting especially in my neighborhood they just sitting nobody living in them they just abandon houses but we got so many homeless people i don't get it and then i don't get like i'm all for the way america is because i feel like you know even though i am an american and my family is from America, maybe deep, deep, deep in my ancestors is from Africa, but we ourselves are from America, are Americans. And it's like, they don't help Americans. Like you see so many foreigners come to this country and they, I just like, I don't know how to say it without seeming prejudiced because I'm not nowhere prejudiced. It's just, I just feel like Americans should help Americans first and then help others. It's like, I'm not going to have my children in my home and my children are hungry and all my kids are grown, but I'm not going to have them be hungry and know that they need something to eat and me being able to provide them with food I'm going to say oh you know what this man is you know hungry too or this woman is hungry too let me feed them first and then you know what I mean if there's anything left I'm gonna feed my children no I'm gonna feed my children first I mean we all want to help everybody because 
I mean, I used to, <laughs> when I was little, my mom is gone, but if she was still here, she would tell you. Well, matter of fact, my sisters don't could tell you. I used to say all the time that when I get older, I'm going to have so much money. And when I have so much money, I'm going to do, um, I'm going to get a town. Sisters don't could tell you. I used to say all the time that when I get older, I'm going to have so much money. And when I have so much money, I'm going to do, um, I'm going to get a town that's just nothing but people that on the street like i'm gonna see people that's on the street that's in need and i'm gonna place them in this home and you know have them work around the neighborhood for you know i mean for pay and stuff like that supply su supply them with a starter cash and and stuff like that this is what i would say when i was little because i just feel like i don't i don't like seeing nobody homeless i don't like seeing nobody hungry and it's like, it's not much that I can do because I'm not in a situation to help everyone. I'm barely enough to help myself. So, the times are hard. And I'll be the first one to tell you, times are hard. Like, <clears throat> I have, um, I'm an author. I have books published. And I self-published my books. And I have one book that been inquired about from different publishing companies to republish my book. And they want me to sign on. But it's like, okay, that sounds good. Because that's how you get your book out there. And it's so crazy because in my area, everybody talks about how good my book is. But it's only local. Because these publishing companies that want to republish your book and tell you how much money you're going to be making and how well you're going to do with it they cost money they cost money that i don't have so i'm just stuck with doing my books locally so but i thought by being in barnes and noble and me being on facebook and youtube that i would be able to get it out the way i want to get it out but it's like get it out the way I want to get it out, but it's like it's just I wish I was able to be in a situation where I can help other people. Like I said, it that's you know what I mean, just like it's Christmas now. I tell everybody don't don't buy me a gift because I just think that the gifts are just like it's an advertisement for the stores it's like beneficial to the stores and stuff no don't give me that do me a favor if you want to do something for me like go out and see somebody in need and do something nice for that person I prefer that like if you do something nice for somebody then oh god i'm home i'm gonna put my car in the driveway though because i'll be leaving soon but you want to do something for somebody then i mean if you want to give me a gift do something for somebody else and i think that just like with the kids and stuff yeah i i spoiled my kids a lot and when they was younger like i made sure that they had gifts and stuff like that but dang, I got home fast. I guess because I was walking and talking. But, um, yeah, hold on. So, yeah, when my, um, when my kids was younger, when my kids were younger, I would, um, go to the store, you know what I mean? Because they're children, and I wanted my kids to have that same kind of Christmas that I have. But once we're older, like, I don't want to, I don't want to just go to the store and just buy you something. I mean, I'd rather, rather do something for somebody in need. You know what I mean? So, and why is it that that's the only time we can show each other we love each other? You know what I mean? It shouldn't be that. That's why, like, I, I like Valentine's Day, but I don't like Valentine's Day because I don't think Valentine's Day should be a day that we showing each other 
I don't want to hit my husband's car. I got behind me. But I don't think Valentine's Day should be a day that we show everybody love. Why can't we do that all year round? Just like Christmas. Why can't this be all year round? People say it all the time, but how many of us really do it all year round that we sit there and we think about somebody above ourselves? And I try to do it. Like, I really do. Like, that's why I say every everything. Like, birthdays, everybody, especially my children, be like, Mommy, what you want for your birthday? Or my husband, babe, what you want for your birthday? No, I don't want anything for my birthday. Like, if you want to do something for my birthday, cook something. You know what I mean? We have, we have food inside there. Cook something. Just cook me, cook me something. We don't have to go out to eat. I mean, every now and then, I like to go out to eat. Every now and then, I like to go to the movies. But why do you have to pick my birthday to go out to eat or go out to the movies? No, just do it. Just let that be a normal thing like okay today is today's tuesday today's tuesday matter of fact my my sister's birthday is in two days so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make her something like something from the heart like i could go to the store and get her something i can go to the store get a card but i'm an author i write so why not write uh um write up a card why would i just write up a card why would i just i mean spending four to five dollars on a card is that is that going to show her that i love her even more or would me doing a card on my own and writing it up my own when that show her that wow my sister wrote this from the heart you know what i mean so and i've always done that so my husband have almost everything that i wrote up you know what i mean so i just feel like I don't know. I know I'm going like from zero to 80 on these different things I'm talking about. And I know this was a walk-in exercise video, but I had so much on my mind. Like I, I love seeing like people stuff out. I really do. Like I love the season. Don't get me wrong. I love Christmas, but I just feel like let's celebrate it. Okay. Let's celebrate the real meaning of Christmas and what am I trying to say like I just feel like on that one particular day why show me so much love when you know dang on well that next month or the month after or a few days after the holiday you're back to acting an ass um, not showing me the same kind of love that you show me on that one day I just feel like it should be all year round. And if you're like, if you have faith and you believe in God, that's something that he will want us to do. Love one another and not just on one particular day. Okay. I'm going to get off of that because I can get really deep with this because I just feel like I'm, I drive around and I see people on the street and going back to what I was talking about before, how we have, we as Americans, we need to take care of each other and then work at helping other countries and stuff like that. It's nothing wrong with the help. Yes, they need help, but let's help each other first and then we can help them. Like, how can you help somebody else without helping yourself first? So that's something I just don't care. Get like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take care of my children before I take care of somebody else's children. You know what I mean? Just like I would expect somebody else to do that too. Like, if somebody else got children, I know my children need help. I would expect them to take care of their children first and then help me with my children, if that's the case. But to sit there and see that I have children and you help me with my children, but yet and still your children is in need. I That's just so backwards to me. But, yeah, this video I know is super long because I have like, what? four different videos that I have to post up but I'm just I'm really feeling a certain way and I don't feel the same way about the holidays that I used to but I still enjoy the holidays like I really do and I mean it'd be lovely if my mom and my sister and my brother were still alive and my grandparents were still alive but I mean, 
you live and you die, that's hard. But I feel her still around me, though. I really do. Like, certain things that happen, I feel them around me. So, all right, you guys. I'm going to talk to y'all guys in the next video. This is the last of the videos. And, um... Subscribers, thank you. Um, if you have yet to subscribe to my channel, please click the sub subscribe button. Any questions that you have for me, please put it in the comment section. Anything that you want me to talk about, put it in the comment section. If you are exercising and you're walking the same time as me or walking, period, tell me about it. Write it down in the um, comment sections. If you want me to check out your videos, put that in the comment section. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Oh, I know. Hey, everyone. Yes, I'm looking a hot mess um, with this thing on my head. This is what I made. Wow. This is what I made. But I was in the middle of giving myself a hot oil treatment. What did I say? You said oil. I said oil. I was in the middle of giving myself a hot oil treatment, but then... I fell asleep Chase, with the Chase. oil still in my hair. Chase. So when I get home, I am Chase. going to wash my hair. It's not the chair. Look, it's not the chair. It's all in my hair. But I had to come out while my child gets checked out. You see that cute of us with her trying to put her hands in her pockets. Look, half of her hand is still out of her pocket. Get out my face. She be struggling, y'all. <laughs> Look at the way she sit, because she's so, she's so big, she can't close her leg. <laughs> Look, and my, my baby's over there playing. It feels like spring outside, y'all. So, I'm going to let y'all know how the visit went. She is ready for this to be over. Right? Aren't you ready for this to be over? Huh? I said, aren't you ready for this to be over? I'm trying to speak and you were good. Y'all see her legs, right? I got that again. <laughs> they don't close, y'all. Trust me. They do not close. Alright you guys, I'll see y'all later. You wanna send me on social media? Oh my legs don't close anything.